Hello everyone, Etta here. I thought I'd take this opportunity to do my video on what I've been warming for the week. So I thought we'd do a little, little wax conversation and a little coffee drinking. Um, just kind of spending my morning doing this. It's the last day of my staycation, so I'm I'm probably a little down knowing that uh, I'll be going back to work on Monday. So. Um, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and jump in. I will try to, um, I'll try to do like I did the last time. I'll try to do all the Scentsy stuff first and then move on to, uh, other wax from that point. So, and I think, I think all I have in here is wax for the week. I don't, unless I come across something as I'm doing it. So, um, I'm just going to jump in. I did finish, um, this past week, I finished using my bar of Kahika Hula from the Bring Back My Bar, and I like it. Um, kind of like I've said on some of the other ones, I don't know if this is just so recent that it needs like time to cure because I didn't get enough strength from it. So I really like the scent. I'm just not getting the strength. So I think I'm going to pick up another bar, and I'm going to leave it... Um, I'm gonna leave it on the side for a while. I may put it in like my quarterly uh, club because I think my quarterly one has already processed for this month. So by putting it in that one, I wouldn't get it again for three months. So that gives me time to let it sit for a while before it processes again to give me an idea whether or not I wanna keep it in there. So I might do that. Then um, my beautiful, beautiful bar that I miss so much that was in my club and I've already told the story before, but I went ahead. I, I decided one day this week that I really wanted to smell it. So I broke down and I warmed one of my last remaining bars that I have. I think I have probably, I think I have about five more, maybe four more. I don't know, but I'm going to ration it out for myself so that it lasts me a long time. Um, but I have a bar that I went through of do we or don't we? And um, I have... Kind of like the uh, coffee scents that I've been on the hunt for just because we didn't have other coffee scents. I've been trying to find um, a cantaloupe scent that I love as much as do we or don't we. I, I haven't found it yet. Um, there are uh, there are other melon scents, cantaloupe, honeydew, that kind of thing. Um, but they just... They just don't please my nose as much as do we or don't we. I really, really like that scent and I miss it. So I did warm through that I am, and thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, let's see. I went ahead and finished this one from the Bring Back My Bar, Spring Forward. And I said in my initial review of this one, because I finished it on this week. Um, I think I had three cubes left. I had said that I, there was a note in there that reminded me of a wink and a smile, and I I didn't like a wink and a smile either. So I, I, I really didn't like Spring Forward but because of that one note. I, I thought it through well and, you know, all that. It's just that scent does not appeal to me. Um, oh, there is a little something in here that was not wax. And oh, okay, that's right. I did. Um, I had one more dryer disc of clothesline in my box, and I pulled it out and threw it into my dryer. I also finished the bar of Ocean from the Bring Back My Bar, and in my initial review, I said that it, having had it in the washer whiffs, it kind of ruined it for me because I really only smelled laundry. Um, so I took the last couple of cubes that I had left and I put them in the warmer that's in the mudroom. And I said that the mudroom has like the stairs to the back part of the house, um, which leads right there close, close to the door to the room above the garage. And, um, I had actually, I'd gone into the room above the garage to go put new scent in there one day this week. And, um, like walking into the, towards the room, I'd get this smell and I'm like, oh, that's, that's pretty. And then walking out of the room, going back down the hallway, I would smell the same scent and I'd think, gosh, that's pretty. I'm like, and I'm thinking the warmer 
upstairs is at the top of the landing, way at the other end. And I'm thinking, I, I know I'm not smelling that one. Like, wh- what am I smelling? And then it hit me. Hello, you're smelling the one that's in the warmer downstairs in the mudroom. And it was ocean and it just smelled so good. And it did a terrific job of traveling up the stairs and just scenting that whole little area right there at the top of the stairs. Fantastic. Um, laundry or not, I think that one's going in my club. Um, and I know my husband loves it. He actually made a comment about, you know, whatever you have in the mudroom, that smells really, really good. And I said, that's ocean. And he's like, oh, okay. He's like, well, it smells really good. So I said, all right, I'll, I'll keep it. Um, I finished, I had started this. I don't remember what I mixed it with now, but, um, I went ahead and finished the bar that I had open of salted lavender. I like that scent. Um, I just don't find it strong enough per se to be by itself. Like I usually like to mix it with other things or in a smaller area. Um, I like it a lot. I just don't, I just don't love it per se. It doesn't wow me. I love the scent. It just doesn't wow me. Um, I went ahead and finished, I think, yes, I had done two cubes originally in the half bath and thought that it just did beautifully. So I had had the six cubes left and I said I was going to do that in my bedroom to see how it did. So I finished white tea and cactus and in my bedroom, like I said, I've said before, I have two full-size warmers in my bedroom and then I have a full-size warmer in the bathroom. So I did two cubes in each of the three warmers and it did really nicely in my bedroom. I really enjoyed it. Um, it, it threw well enough in my room. I don't think it would throw well enough. It was, if it was a large open area. Um, I keep the door to my bedroom closed. So the scent was really contained within my bedroom bathroom and it did really well. It smells so pretty. Um, I'm probably, I don't know that I'm going to leave it in my club. I think I might just get a couple of more bars and be content with that because I think it's such a pretty scent. I, you know, but I think I mentioned before, I, I can't have a gazillion bars that I use solely for a certain area. So I'm going to try to just, um, get a couple of bars and enjoy it that way. Um, I did, oh, I wanted to, um, say a big thank you to Melissa Johnson. I, um, I think I left her this comment on one of her videos, but she was going through stuff that she had warmed and she was talking about how she had mixed certain scents. And what she did was she rubber band the bars together and I thought why have I never thought of that like wow okay because I'm always fumbling through my basket going okay I think I warmed this with something but what was it and then I finally come across it and I think oh yeah here it is this is what I warmed the other thing with and I thought what a great idea to rubber band the bars together so that you remember what you did because I, I tend to forget after a while so I Thank you, Melissa. I actually took uh, took your suggestion, basically, your, through visual means, um, and I went ahead and rubber band the bars together that I worked on together. So this is a scent combination that my husband really, really likes, and he kind of had forgotten, or, you know, it had been a while since I had worn them together. So I did the other day, I put it in the sunroom, and he made a comment about how good it smelled. And I said, that's that scent combination that you like the rise and sunshine and aloe vera and Ivy. He really, really likes that scent combo. So, um, I don't, I did not put rise and sunshine in my club. So I have a few bars, so I have them set aside specifically to blend for him, to give him his combination that he likes. So I did that. Then let's see, where's some other ones? Um, trying to see if there's any more that are actually empty. I think it's kind of hard to see. It's all a big old mess in here. There's some that are almost empty, um, like this one. I think I did this one the same day I did my do we or don't we in the, yeah. When I did do we or don't we in the sunroom, I kind of wanted to carry the smell 
kind of like into the living room. So that same day, I used six cubes because I have three warmers in the living room. I did six cubes of melon and apple granita. And it, it's just a another another variation of a cantaloupe kind of scent for me. At least that's what I get from it. And um, unfortunately, this one's not in my club either. It was originally in my club and I took it out when I put Do Your Don't We In. And I took out, at the same time, I took out Strawberry and Rock Melon, which was another cantaloupe scent for me. So, and then when Do Your Don't We got mistakenly taken out or whatever, I lost them all. So um, I'm gonna finish enjoying what I have of that. Um, I did do a combination of, let's see, I did this, I'm trying to remember how I did this. Um, I know that in my bedroom and on the landing, that would have been six cubes. I had two more cubes of each at that point. I'm trying to remember where I did it. I have what I did it with, but um, where I did that, I don't know at this moment. But I did mix, um, I wanted to do vanilla suede. I love vanilla suede but I didn't want to do it by itself. I wanted to use something else with it. And part of my thought was I wanted to use something else from my trolley to use another bar. So I pulled out one of my old Bring Back My Bars of Simply Vanilla, and I mixed it with Vanilla Suede. So it was more vanilla and not as much suede. Um, it worked really well together. I enjoyed it in my bedroom. It definitely toned down the scent um, to make it more of a pretty vanilla, a little less suede. Um, although I love vanilla suede by itself, have no problem warming it by itself, but I thought just, just to be a little different. And I'm trying to remember where I mixed, but the landing, I did just those two. In my bedroom, I did just those two, but there was one other place where I had, I had two left. So it had to be a place where I had two warmers, which I'm thinking maybe in here. I really don't remember, but I wind up mixing Simply Vanilla, Vanilla Suede, and I mixed it with one of the vendor uh, waxes. And I mixed it with the L3 Waxy Wonders, Cashmere, Cedar, Palo Santo smoked vanilla. And again, you know, I had simply vanilla, vanilla suede, and then this one had a smoked vanilla in it. So it did really well. I really liked it. Um, and the one thing I do remember about the, um, about the mix <laughs> is not the scent. Um, I did turn the warmers off when it was finished and didn't catch it after 20 minutes. Uh, one of those times that it got turned off and it, it was hours and hours before I remembered. And I thought, uh oh, I might have a really hard time getting this out. And I've said before that if, with especially with Sensi, I use popsicle sticks to get it out of the dishes. I mean, it, it pries out with a popsicle stick so easily. And that's one of the things that I absolutely adore about Scentsy Wax is the cleanup. It's so easy. Um, and there's so many different methods to do it, but I tend to forget and they wind up hardening and I'm like, uh oh, and you know, but with popsicle stick it works perfectly. And so the true test was gonna be, I have Scentsy Wax and a Vendor Wax and I'm like, oh, I hope I don't have a really hard time getting this out. I guess maybe because there was Scentsy Wax in there with it, it pried out perfectly with the popsicle stick. So I was very happy to see that and I enjoyed that mix. So that was that. Then I think the only other finished Scentsy, sort of finished, um, and I'm gonna kind of leave this to the side because I did two more, two more, um, mixes blends for Patricia G's challenge with Palo Santo. So I, I 
if you've watched my videos, I think you, you probably know that I love mixing scents. I will try lots of things just to see how it goes. And one of the mixes that I did here was a very manly scent. Um, and I shared that one with uh, Karen Wells. Karen, I think her name on YouTube is Karen Rosa and she's in Australia. And I know that she is another person who loves manly scents. So I thought, ooh, she might like this. Um, luckily she had some Palo Santo, she said. Um, so I think she was gonna give it a try and hopefully she liked it. I hope you liked it, Karen. I truly enjoyed the scent. I thought it was really good. Um, I found that the Palo Santo basically worked to deepen and kind of round the um, the manly scent that it was creating. Um, mostly, uh, you know, because woodsy scents are a popular thing, maybe, I, th I think, in manly scents. So I thought it did really well. And then the other thing I mixed it with, um, I'm not going to say it was a failure. It was okay, but it wasn't like... It wasn't like a favorite to me and it was definitely with a questionable wax I, I, when i say questionable i mean a wax that is not a favorite among people so i thought hey maybe if i mix these two together they could be two scents that maybe you don't like and you trying to figure out a way to get use up both of them so i'll put those on uh, patricia g's challenge at the end of june so i'm just gonna kind of leave that on the side then Let's see, which ones? Oh, I did finish this one, okay. Um, I did finish a, a bar of Appealing Apple. And I don't, I did not do this one by itself. Um, I finished the bar, but I was mixing it. Again, I was mixing it with um, Vendor Wax. I mixed it with L3 Waxy Wonders Honeydew Cantaloupe Fizzy Soda. And I really like this fizzy soda wax. And um, I thought, you know what? Honeydew cantaloupe, let me add a little apple to that and have it be a fizzy soda scent. I liked it. I thought it smelled really good together. And of course, I, I like that fizzy soda note. So I did that. And then let's see, it looks like I have a couple here that are started but not finished. Um, I did do, let's see, three cubes of Dumbo Circus Parade. Love that scent. It's so pretty, such a beautiful citrus scent. I think, if I remember correctly, I did that one on my first day of my staycation, so I did that one on Monday. And I did six cubes of sheer leather. I hadn't done sheer leather in such a long time. I thought, you know what? I'm pulling out my bar of sheer leather and I'm going to do that one. And then I still have one little lonely cube left of Lucky in Love. And the scent is amazing. It really is. And um, as it starts to die down, the scent changes and still pretty, still very pretty. Um, and the only reason I'm able to really pick that up is, um, let's see, I would have used originally six cubes and I would have done that in three warmers, loved it, thought it was great. I had two lonely cubes left and I found it to be kind of strong and it threw really, really well. I had done it in the sunroom. It threw really well, it lasted a good long time. And so normally when I have two cubes left, I will, a lot of times I'll put those in the half bath and just enjoy it there. But it was, I found that it did so well in the sunroom that I thought, you know what? I'm not even going to do two cubes. I don't, I don't want to make it too strong in the bathroom. And I don't want to feel like I wasted it by doing two when I could probably have gotten away with one. So I put one cube in the half bath and I put it in there days ago i i don't even remember it was it might have been it might have been monday or tuesday and today is uh friday and 
I noticed yesterday I walked into the bathroom. Again, the half bath, it's a very small bathroom. I keep the door closed. Scents can usually last in there quite a bit for me because the door stays closed. Um, and this being a really good performer, it has lasted for days in there. Um, but yesterday, I remember walking into the bathroom and thinking, oh, this is pretty, you know, and having that thought because it's been a few days since it's been in there, having that thought of, what do I have in here? Like, what did I, what did I put in here? And I sit there and think for a few minutes. And then I realized, oh, I put in the one cube of lucky and love because it had already been in there long enough that the, I guess we're basically at the base notes. We're no longer in the top or mid notes. We're in the base notes. And those base notes even are absolutely gorgeous. I really, really like it. And I'm glad I still have one cube because that one cube will go into that half bath again. It was that good. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, and let's see, that is it for the Scentsy portion of what I've been warming. So now I'm going to dive into the rest of the non-Scentsy what I've been warming. And I'm going to start with... Um, this one here, I put this one in the landing the same day I was doing Do We or Don't We and um, Melon and Apple Granita. I was trying to do similar kind of scents. Now this one I found to be a peach scent and I, re I had done it in this room originally and it did so well that I took, um, one, two, three, I took five cubes. There's three. I don't know why I didn't just do two in each of the Accord warmer pieces because I did it in the landing. Um, but for some reason, I still have one cube left. I did five of Celebración Dulce from the Sensationals Dia de los Muertos um, collection. And this one I found to be a peach scent that was just really, really pretty. And um, I, it did really well in this room. And I put it in the, like I said, at the top of the stairs on the landing. And I like stronger scents for there because it needs to kind of fill the whole two-story area. And I, I didn't find that it did anything. Like I had a very hard time smelling it. I, when I'd go up the stairs and be like right there, I could smell it. But I... I just didn't smell it. it did not do well for a two-story area it did well in here with the doors closed smaller room but it it no it didn't do well on the landing at all um and then on two separate occasions in the uh room above the garage I said you know what I've, I've got those little those little paper cups in the warmers up there. And sometimes I'll take them out and put Scentsy Wax in and knowing that I can easily clean that out. But I said, you know what? Since I had the cups in there, I'm gonna use some of this uh, Walmart wax that I've had for quite a long time. Um, I can't even remember when I bought these. They, it's been a, quite a while and I still had some cubes left. They, they um, Neither one of them were like full things. I think each of them might have had either three or four, probably three. And since I have three warmers, I think I put one cube of each in the warmers. So I finished off one from Better Homes and Gardens called Soft Cashmere Amber. And I remember walking in the room and it was doing okay. It wasn't doing, it wasn't doing like terrific. It was, it was doing all right. Um, but before I did that one, I did this Sensationals called Illusion. And I remember this being a kind of a perfumey scent. It says cedar, musk, and a touch of mystery. And this one did well. Even as old as it was, it did well. It had that perfumey kind of scent to it. I liked it. I thought it did well in there. Uh, let's see. I've got, a, I've got two little cups from Kay's. Uh, first day of my staycation on Monday, I did... Uh, Island Escape. And I did that one in the sunroom and oh man was that good. That was like supremely delicious. It was very, very tropical. But I can't get over how much I liked it. And it did really well. It had I say I have a little sticker on here that says I received it on 5-8. 
and Monday was what six seven. So basically, it. I'd had it for practically a month and, you know, would have been a little older than that because it would have taken some days to get to me and all that stuff. But uh, this had cured really well and I could still smell it the next day. It didn't, I probably got, I know I got at least 24 hours from it, but I'm thinking maybe just slightly over that maybe 26 to 28 hours something like that but and obviously as time progressed the scent got a little softer like by the next day when I smelled it I could still smell it but it just it wasn't as strong as the first day so and I leave the warmer on 24 7 so I, I thought it did really really well and I loved the scent um and then I recently finished this one in my kitchen. I had something going in the kitchen warmer. Oh, I had done in my kitchen warmer, the one that sits on the stove, I had put two cubes of mango sticky rice from the destination wax that I had gotten recently, but it had a pour date of 327. So I was like, okay, well, it has to be cured. So I put the mango sticky rice in there and it's the one that I was super interested in because it says mango sticky rice and I've had that dessert numerous times. It is a fantastic dessert. Um, it's probably in, in my top six desserts that I like. Um, so I put this one in there hoping that the mango would come out. It, I never, I really, I never got the mango. I really just got the sticky rice. And I love that also because basically to me, sticky rice is very reminiscent being a, uh, coming up in a his, Hispanic family. My mother used to love to make um, what we call arroz con leche, which is basically rice with milk. Um, that's cooked so like rice pudding basically right rice pudding um, and so and that's one of those things when I talk about never having enough cinnamon my rice pudding my arroz con leche would be brown I would put so much cinnamon because she would put cinnamon sticks in it to when it's cooking so the cinnamon flavor would get infused into the arroz con leche but I would take cinnamon powder afterwards and pour even more because I love it so much but um so the sticky rice basically like a rice pudding and that's basically what I could smell was the and it's made I think I believe it's made with like coconut milk instead of regular milk and that's what I was smelling and it smelled really good I just never got the mango out of it and when it was like so the next day and since it's on the stove the stove warmer will go off by itself after however long I don't know if it's an hour or two hours and I'll usually go into the kitchen and I'll turn it back on so I'll like keep cycling through it but I think I kind of forgot on I might have cycled through it twice on that one and then I forgot and it turned off so the next morning I was like I knew there was still scent left in that um bar so I had a half a thing of espresso from Kay's and I said oh, I'm just gonna add that in there and um yeah, that was really good too. I enjoyed that. The espresso with the mango sticky rice, that smelled really good. I liked it. And then also from the Destination Wax, um, in the sunroom, I have the three warmers. So I took three cubes of that one that we were super interested in, the 221B Baker Street, because of the fact that we did a custom from K's and we named it 221B Baker Street. I wanted to see how this was going to come off. And when I smelled it on cold sniff, I remember saying I, I get like a powder scent, right? Like a baby powder. And um, I like the scent, but truly that's all I ever got. Um, I want to say that as it warmed, like after it had been on for maybe, I don't know, six, seven, eight hours or whatever, I started to pick up a little bit of the tobacco, but I was still mostly getting a powder scent. And I've said before, I like powder scents, so that didn't bother me. I just never really got the pipe tobacco, definitely not a cherry pipe tobacco. Um, 
maybe the powder was kind of the vanilla and it says in deep soft leather armchairs i never got any kind of leather i really just got the powder but it was a very pretty scent i liked it I, don't get me wrong it was very good i liked it um and what i will say about it was like i said i put one cube you can see the size of the cubes i put one cube in each of the three warmers in the sunroom and i did not need that much my husband agreed i he said you probably could have, got, could have gotten away with one cube um that's how well it was throwing i said well to me that i probably would have done i probably would have done one and a half i you know maybe did one and a half cubes total for the three and i think that would have been just fine because it threw fantastic in the sunroom and that room can be kind of difficult sometimes to to warm so i i performance wise it did fantastic um just i did not get the scent that i thought i was going to get from it but i liked it i did like it a lot and the last thing i warmed i said i was probably gonna get around to doing that really this one really soon because i was so interested to find out i did warm in the living room i opened up the one of cantaloupe from hayden row and um it smells really good the only thing i can say about it and it's not a bad thing is it needs to cure um as i would get closer to the warmers i could smell it and it smelled fantastic but I noticed that it really wasn't throwing enough and I know, I just know it's because it hasn't had time to cure. I mean, I just got this in. I don't think it's had enough time for curing. Um, it smells really strong in the bag and it smells really, really good. Very, I mean, very uh, authentic smelling. It, it does absolutely smell like authentic cantaloupe. And um, it's really, 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 really good. I like it a lot. Um, I just think that this particular one and the other one that I picked up are going to need to sit for a while. And I think at that point, it's going to blow me away. I think it's, it's going to be one of those ones that just fills the room and does fantastic. But it needs to cure a little bit more, so... Anyways, that's what I have been warming for this week. So I think my last one was through June 4th. This one will be through uh, June 11th or I guess 10th because today is the 11th and I have not changed anything. I'm getting ready to change pretty much everything today. So I need to get busy and start picking what I want to warm for today and however long it's going to last. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope that um, you'll share with me some of your opinions about certain waxes, which one, what kind of scents you like and what maybe you've been warming this week. And until next time, enjoy your scents, enjoy your day, and enjoy your journey. Have a great weekend. Talk to you later. Bye.